All right, so a lot of what I like to do in here is, um, you know, I like to make sure that I got guys in there that can make the plays where I need them. So usually, as I've stated before, gun bunch is usually going to be your left hash or right hash formation. Not going to too much shit going to be shaken from the middle. So usually what I do try to do is I make sure that my point receiver and the receiver on the same side as the point is my fastest. My best route runner is the ISO receiver. And then just make sure that you got a good um, tight end that can catch the ball. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through the motions here. Um, if you're worried about getting on hash marks, like your center point, you know, people that already have stuff that I've been working on already know about um, the, bait, the half that case. So pretty much you're dealing with people who just go around the plate. Um, obviously you run the base, you, you put your guy on the guard, and then you flip your right stick up for the impact block so that you can go ahead and just follow your block. You might cut in, you might take it out. You'll get easy four or five yards. Now, you know, I don't use it a lot because um, usually I get to the point where I don't have to, um, but it is something that you can definitely use to open up, you know, other things in your offense, get people out of their tendencies. I know that more often than not, that they're not going to. Most people just spam the hell out of one play to death, but um, you just got to kind of roll with it, and, you know, make adjustments as needed. So that's usually, you know, if I'm in the middle of the field, I'll just use like the halfback base to kind of get to the point of the field that I want to get, right? Now let's kind of go into the other stuff that we're doing, and I'm probably going to have to turn another stick on for this so that I can give y'all guys adequate adjustments for what I see, okay? Controller select. So I'm trying to get y'all into the know on certain situational things that I'll see. Let me go ahead and respot this ball. I think I got to play first. We'll start off with a bench pivot. We'll, we'll try to match it up the best way possible. Um, we'll start with cover zeros, and then we'll move along, and I'm going to kind of explain everything that you're looking for based off of these certain tendencies. But let's go ahead and respot this ball, and uh, let's give me some fill. So, by playing anyone, whether they're running 335 cover zero, nickel normal, dollar sugar blitz, whatever cover zero, I'm going to tell you right now, your go-to route versus cover zero is going to be a quick flat route, okay? Remember how to do this. Um, what you're going to want to do is the guy in cover zero that's manned up is going to be out of position. He's going to be the safe. He's going to be manned up on the, uh, the tight end in most cases um, in those situations. So. Usually, you know, like if you catch them in um, a double A gap or something like that, usually that's that's what's going to happen. It's going to be out of position. Um, other than that, like I said, you were just probably just running flat route and then just send everything else, like vertical or whatever, you know, get it out. And you're you're going to get a quick pass to the flat usually. Um, sometimes the safety is going to match up with it. Sometimes. Play. Yeah, you want to get it on the weak side, so if they have that corner on the other side, that's what you need. So you're going to put it like that. I wish I was a way to show the play art. Okay, so it, it'll be the quick pass to the flat versus cover zero every time. Okay, so if I see someone spamming that, then we're going to counter it with that. You just make sure you're attacking the weak side of the formation and then just go over have like a beater over and then just send him deep or whatever so it'll look like that now if you want to have a check down and they start let's say putting a guy in zone over here trying to play the hard flat let me show you let's say we take this guy and put him in a hard flat like that right and they're going to take that away the next thing that i want you guys to do is you're going to motion this guy over and it's going to be a big part and you're going to run a flat to this side 
Okay, so your your offense is going to look like this, and you know you're going to force them to make extra adjustments. And you can always readjust and add new things based off what you see. So we know that he's going to be defending the flat. Let me take that user off of him, and then we're just going to go to the slant over the top like that. Okay, so that's your going to be your next read progression versus cover zero. Um, other than that, that's really all I'm looking for in those cover zero situations. There's nothing really to uh, needs to be explained. Now, other than that, bunch usually is very sus versus like man press. Okay, it's a little bit harder to get certain route concepts off of. So when they play press coverage, or if they start playing defense like I would, and they actually align people. Um, what is going to happen here, let me just go ahead and flip it over here. And then I might do it like a hitch route. Now, one thing is press coverage, you cannot press coverage hitch routes, okay? Make sure I'm in the right play. So you can smart route the hitch route, he's not going to get pressed. I'm just going to show you, just watch that route by a square. Like if I, even if I motion him out, even though he's press coverage, I just want you guys to pay attention that you cannot press that hitch route. So it's just gonna be instant throw. See how he kind of wings and curls around him? I'm gonna slow it down. He's gonna basically push the defender back. I'm gonna slow it down, show you the replay. So I went, motion to the hitch route, smart routed it, and then motioned him out. And notice how he just curls around and he, he puts the defender at his back. So you can't press hitch routes. You can shorten their distance a little bit, but you cannot press them. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that I would kind of do from this situation. Um, again, like I said, usually cover zero. They're playing press. Let's say they're actually trying to align, whatever. Like I said, I'll do it a lot. Like, I'll come over here, put him in a flat route like that, just run that slant over the top, and then my two read, my three read progression here in this situation, I might decide I want to go double flat or create a rub route. So one rub route, I can do a zig route right up under that double post corner, you know, to kind of get a rub route with that slot corner or the safety so that I can get that corner out over the top if I'm seeing stuff like that. But let me go ahead and press them so that we can generate them type of concepts. Um, like I said, we're just putting that uh, ISO receiver in the flat as a clear out. You basically magnetize your zone so that, you know, anything that's on the field that's defending him is going to just play low, short, shallow so that you can get it over the top. There's no point running vertical if he's pressed because if he's vertical and he's pressed, he's going to jam you up. And by the time that slant gets open, you're still going to be in that jam art and he's going to be able to play the ball. You don't want that. Okay, you don't want to have traffic situations. I try to preach to you guys that everything needs to be separated at different points in the field. Okay, so other than that, your read progression is going to be basically pretty much just read the slant. You can read that zig as a rub route, and then you can read that corner post. So we just kind of go through the read progression. You look, look, look. You get an isolation. Use my user catch technique to get the one-on-one -on -one catches. Okay. So that's going to be covering your cover zeros. Let's kind of go go more and show you these concepts versus like cover two, this, that, and the other, so that you guys can understand everything that I'm seeing from my perspective and how I adjust. And I'll show you like every beater that I got in these situations too. So like let's say they're running cover two man, okay? They still want to play press, and for a while this was difficult for me to kind of adjust to until, you know, recently I started finding ways to kind of cook it a little bit. What you're going to want to do to beat cover two man, you're going to take this outside ISO receiver and you're going to put him in a comeback route, okay? Next thing you're going to do, you're going to take that slot point receiver and run him on a streak, and that's really all you have to do. Um, last thing but not least, is just make sure that your ID, the mic, is on one of the four designated rushers on the line. Do not put it at linebacker depth unless you're running the ball. That's pretty much the only, you know, thing I can
can do. Let's see. So our play art looks like this. And what we're going to do is that comeback route over there on the left is going to draw that safety's attention on that left side to where he plays low and outside. And that corner route over there by our tight end is going to place that other safety to play outside a little bit. So that what we're going to be able to do is if our point receiver is faster than that corner trying to jam him, usually you're going to be at a matchup, especially if you have a good receiver, because most most teams' number three corner isn't locked now. Okay? Or if they try to put their superstar corner on there, I guarantee you he's not going to cover a speed receiver. I can almost guarantee that. Um, but other than that, just like I said, just make sure your ID's on the line. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pass leading over the safety on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to show it. I'm just going to wait for that jam to get that release, and you're just going to pass lead just like that. And you're going to get over the top. Okay, I want to kind of slow it down. I know I didn't get the completion card. Does tend to under throw shit sometimes, but I just want to kind of slow it down. I want you to read that safety on the left. That comeback route. Watch how it plays. Slow it down. Look how far outside the numbers he is versus the other safety. And when he plays comeback, he's so far out of position. You can get that ball fitted over there. You know, usually it might take you a couple tries. Give me that. And then try it again. Make sure your ID is on the line. And as soon as he passes that safety up, you just hammer. Okay? It's going to be a tight throw, you know, depending on who your slot receiver is and how fast he is. But for the most part, that's going to be able to torch cover two. And then if they have a user, what's going to happen is, you, you know, user safeties, they tend to bite low anyway. So if you have like an under underneath route, like if you want to add like a check down route with the running back, you can do that. And then see how he plays it. See, look, look, look at how wide open that gets versus cover two men. Now, don't mind in practice mode, they're going to get their knockdowns, but as long as you guys are seeing what's happening here, that's the important part, okay? Now, let's get more into it. Let's say, because you're going to attack cover two man and Tampa two the same way. I don't really need to go into in, in too much in depth on it. I mean, they're pretty much the same same way to beat both of them. Um, just making read progressions. Um, as far as cover three, from the same play, though, make this shit look easy for you guys. I'm trying to come out in the right formation. More often than not, even if they're aligned to way, the way they're supposed to, um, cover three is designed to where the third is going to be more positioned to play the side of the field where it levels out. So you have the safety on the right playing the short, but you got the safety over on the left on the two routes. He's supposed to be in better position to, to match up with the post route and stuff like that. That's what cover three is designed for us to defend post routes or anything going over the middle of the field. But when you're not you when you want to throw a beater, that's fine, cool, whatever, you know, you can you can match up to it and play it. But there's better ways and faster ways to attack cover three. I always try to tell people that I play them, I'm like, please do not play cover three versus my bunch. I'm gonna torch you. Okay? So I'm gonna show you pretty pretty simple right here. You're gonna run a fade route instead of the street. You're gonna you keep that opt to keep that dig just as a check down, just in case, you know, they might be playing over, you know, over it too much or whatever, you can always just check down to the dig. Um, last but not least is you will slide protect to the side because you're going to need to step to the throw and then throw it up. Um, what you're going to do with this fade route is you're not going to pass lead up, you're actually going to pass lead to the sideline over there, okay? Don't worry about that corner. I'm telling you that 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 corner post route over there by that tight end. He's going to draw the attention of that outside third. He's going to make it play low enough where you should just be able to sell it right over his head. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it for you guys. Just enough where you sell it right over his head. That's exactly where you want to place that ball versus that cover three Scott. 
don't try to throw a straight route up the seams. I've had issues where, you know, I might throw a bullet pass often because I got a bad stick. And it'll look open if you throw it straight up the seam, that safety or that corner will jump it for some odd reason. Okay, so make sure your pass leading to the sideline when you're making that throw. Okay, that's going to be your best advice. Also, just make sure anytime you're passing the ball that your ID, the mic, is on the line. Okay, so come one more time, pass lead over that outside third, and you'll get them for a one play touchdown every single time. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, you're good for probably hitting people for that one or two times, maybe three if you're lucky in a game, if you're not making other adjustments. Now, let's say that they try to use it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to run the fade. We're going to run a dig route. And usually what I can do is I can do like a swing route over here. And I might do like a hitch route or something like that. And then what we'll do to try to emulate the third is we'll play... I guess inside quarter or something for them to use it, I guess. But what we're going to be doing is this dig route is going to be coming. It's going to be going deep enough to where they might try to bail on it with their user. Um, I don't know if I can do this with two sticks. But what's, what happens, what I see a lot is people get so frustrated. Like they won't even come out of cover three. They'll stay in cover three for the Lord help their souls. But... Um, they'll think that they can use it with the third and they'll try to chase it and they'll hold their turbo and when you know they're on their turbo that's going to hurt their change of direction they're not going to be able to cut back to the ball or anything like that and usually at that point that dig route is going to kill them okay so i don't know if i'm going to be able to emulate this with two sticks i'm trying to give you guys the best examples of how to run this offense okay so other than that if, um also guys you should be very knowledgeable of the hitch swing route concept that I have as an underneath read that will always be cover three. Okay, so we're just going to kind of run this. I'm just kind of show you, you got your dig. Usually it'll come over the top. You know, you always got your hitch swing route underneath just in case, you know. Uh, and that also works versus cover one. You can attack them the same way. If they start running cover one against you, that dig route does the same thing. It's going to, it's going to be more of a viable read uh, versus cover one. Now, let's say they want to run cover four. Now, there's so many ways that this bench pivot is just going to annihilate people's defenses. I don't know if I got like let, let, let's let's do match. Okay, I'm gonna give you a good example about match match quarter. This is why you do not run match defense. Like uh, in real life, you can. Now, video game, you can. Because what's going to happen is the, the process for the AI to read man, then read again, man up again, then read again, and then man up, and he gets lost. Okay, he's going to freeze. Um, and it's not, it's just bad programming on the game. That's why I don't run match coverage versus close sets, because I know that. Uh, you can run it fine versus spread sets or anything where the, the, the routes aren't too close together. Um, but other than that, you know, this, this is pretty much going to be an easy beater. That's why I want two fast receivers on the same side. You, what you're going to do is instead of you going with a point receiver, you're going to let him run that whip route, and then your target receiver is going to be the streak over there with Jackson. So I'm just going to kind of show you, show you what's going to happen here. Notice how he cuts inside, and you'll be able to beat it the same way, okay? Just a different receiver. I'm going to slow it down for you guys and kind of show you. Like, you'll just be torching all kind of defenses with this offense. Okay, I'm going to slow it down for you guys. Just watch the safety as he tries to, the AI tries to adjust. See, he's initially going to be playing that point receiver. See how he chases 17? Just kind of slow it down. See how he goes to 17? Once 17 crosses, he has to rematch up because his job, he still has to play that quarter. So the next route that he has to defend, he's already, we done turned him around. You know, once you turn them around with a fast receiver, you're gone. Okay? So it's just kind of something that you guys want to uh, kind of take note of. 
Um, you can pretty much do any match coverage that way. Match three, um, I would still stick with the uh, the point fade instead of trying to do the outside vert. You could probably be a little creative. You, you know, if you don't have the fastest receiver or something, you know, you might want to put him in a hitch, smart route hitch, you know, instead of a curl or something like that. So that you can kind of just find a little soft spot and get open. Um, other than that, that's pretty much going to cover most of the stuff that you'll see me use um, just out of that one play. Now, there, there are other things that you can do, but usually the schemes that I do is just going to be all hot route reads based off what I see. If someone's playing too much zone, you know, I can get a, a little complex with the routes. I might run Z spot and go. Um, I might run PA post if I know they're not, you know, having blitz tendencies. Um, another thing I might throw in with that bench pivot is the verticals with the uh, the same thing with that comeback route. I'm just kind of go through the through the motions here and show you guys um, what I like to do. Give me the option route. Give me the comeback route. And what I'll do is I'll smart route that comeback route. And what that does is going to open up some space for you to utilize that that crossing route. Um, other than that, what you can do, if you just want to play, you want them short zones to play short instead of chasing and belling off because you ain't got no route over there. What you can do is you can motion hike this guy in a drag to make those underneath hooks play shallow so that you can kind of float one over the top, okay? So you just kind of do it right there, just look, 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 and then sometimes you can get it over there to the sideline. Practice mode, you're not necessarily going to get the best throw animations, but you know, if you kind of work with it enough, you'll basically start finding the little soft spots to throw in the coverage and stuff. I mean, there's different things that you can do. Uh, you can do rub routes, like for instance, I, I do a zig route right here. I might just send him D, and then I got a zig over there. I might run a slant right here. I know he's he's sending, you know, he. And I'll block the tight end and I might slide protect, and then ID on the edge. You know, I might do some stuff like that. And then watch the whip route, see what see what opens up, and I might try to go for the user catch or something. But practice mode, they're only going to let you do so much in practice mode. But I'm going to show you more in the game. Oh man, no problem, bro. Like anytime you need advice, man, you can just hot call the hotline. I got you. <laughs> I got you, bro. But I just wanted to kind of get get that off my chest. So you know, hopefully we can get some games in without getting blue screen today, and hopefully that advice helps you guys a little bit. And I'll just kind of go through the the progressions in game as I see things. You know, that way that way you got to get a more clear understanding of what I'm looking for in certain situations. And you'll catch a lot of people spamming in, in, in regs. Like, there's not nothing you can help. Like, you can do your best to try to get someone out something, but you, you're not going to. Setting plays up in regs is different than what you think setting plays up is. Because people are going to stay to what they think works. They're, they're little one-play miracles. They're, they're going to stay in it until it's too late and then by the time it's too late they're going to rage quit. That's usually the results every single time. Very, very seldomly will you play someone that has a complex defense where they mix up what they're doing. Very seldom. Let's get it. Make sure we stay out in our starter package for this. Remember, 
we play our run fits first.
amazing. backing off of him. Give me that space, bro. I love it. Keep backing him up, bro. I love it. You are playing so scary right now, bro. Bro, you are scary, bro. You got the goat over there. You just gonna let me... Okay, we got a whole goat over there. You just gonna do that, really? Okay. Ah, come on, Rip Rock, you gotta get that one. Can't cover both of them routes, bro. You don't got enough change of direction.
I'm with it again. You gotta throw better than that, bro. That man would be. Ain't nothing you did. You gotta throw out a sack animation, bro.
Give me that, give me that, give me that. What the fuck? Good shit, KJ. Sitting over there waiting for that double cross. KJ, that's why we got you over there, bro. Stop them double crossers. Good user. Soft spots. You think and dunk. That's all you gotta do when people wanna play like this, bro. Sad, but whatever. yourself to a loss, bro. Jeez. 
easy completions, eat the clock, two possession game. Got to be like the worst. Uh, GG's game over.
Good afternoon, little boy. I, I can't make this shit up, man. People will spam. Regardless how bad their shit is, they will stay in it and rely on a lucky play here or there. I should have just stayed in verticals and just hit them up the, the seam with the wheel with the tight end the whole game. But, you know, I didn't read that until the fourth quarter to try to start doing it that way. But, you know, other than that, you know, early in the first quarter, as you can see, man, sometimes when people be playing stupid adjustments, you're going to get stupid plays like flat routes being wide fucking open, you know, fucking Hunter Renfro was just eating them up underneath and then he's trying to play hard flats while backing everybody up. It's pointless adjustments. Like, that's just like the same thing when you see people doing stupid shit like baseline press. Like, why? You're not matching nobody up. You're just sitting there spamming something until it works. I, I don't understand this generation of players, bro. It's like they got dropped off by the short bus or something. All right, let's play another one, man. Like I said, man, everybody that you'll play will probably be different. You always got to be able to, you know, make those adjustments game to game based off of what you see tendencies. Like, I don't think there's necessarily an ebook out there that's going to help you just beat the way players play. It'll help you versus like AI, but like why would you, you know, sit there and buy something to beat AI and then you go play a user and then you wonder why your shit's getting bumped. You know? Like I always try to give you every situation. I don't even like if I, if I do an ebook, I, I'm not doing it to beat covers. I'm doing it to beat users versus any coverage. You want something that's going to, you know, you want to have all your routes on the field that can beat any coverage in the game. You shouldn't have to worry about, oh, da, 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 da. keep it simple, keep it fast, keep it easy. Uh, lucky dive tackle. Probably going to get a stop and go. But should have, would have, but it did. All right, so kind of see what he comes out in. Get a good idea. It's more of a quarters look. Lewis. 
who's close because we got a third safety in. <laughs> that was luck to the highest. Tackle. Got them hammers now. You want to keep running no huddle. I got these 90 hit power safeties. These pass rushers, you're not running no play action. Mmm, tight. Fatigue about to be on our side, though. That man, that man doing the most. <laughs> Only talking about that man, bro. Box. I got nine blocking. Double teams in two. Everywhere. Stay in that baseline though. Let me get you out of it. Remember when people spam. It's sad. See now, now fatigue setting in. He, he's getting pancakes. Now you see, now you see something else I see. GG's bro. Flats. Get you. One on one in space. 
he'll spam in the same play. Like, what does it take to get these guys to learn how to play football? Trying to D-line user. Not today, son. <sighs> He's still on a baseline. He's not going to learn. You are not playing run fits when you baseline, sir. You're going to be able to run all over that shit. And then I can add more blocks if I need to. Wear him out. Beat the clock. Take the dog. He's gonna keep spamming. That's a two-minute. Still on the baseline. Why? Why are you pressing from the baseline? You got corners out there that they're not even playing ball right now. I told you you're not playing run fits. Stop it. She's gonna run all over that shit. These people, they don't want to fucking listen, they just want to spam the same shit. Sometimes you just gotta counter with better spam. And because he don't want to fucking listen, he rage quit. <laughs> Anytime you see baseline folks, just run on their ass, bro. They don't have run fits. Just run on them. You be telling them, hey, bro, you're not playing run fits. I'm going to run on you. And they don't adjust. They stay in one play. I don't I don't understand this generation. It wasn't like that when I grew up, man. Motherfuckers, when we played, before the internet came out, you know, we, we were in the neighborhood, man. We played each other. We, we tried to defend what was beating us. We didn't stay in the same shit, bro. We got our ass kicked, bro. We lab up. We try to find something to goddamn counter that shit. We play different the next time. Don't sit in there and one shit you're gonna keep getting cooked, bro. What's wrong with y'all? I mean, I will spam. Like, if you're not gonna do adjust to it, remember, there's an old saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They wanna sit there and play like that and they don't wanna play run fits. Bloop. Kill them every time. You automatically know if they base align, you're going to get double teams in the run game. You run the ball. That's, that's just a straight up. Exactly. Like, they don't think about the shit they're doing. They're just doing shit because they probably... Some other user, I guess, from Mutt or something they watch on Twitch. It's like baseline press. Like I told y'all guys from the beginning, if y'all ain't heard it from anywhere else, you hear it here first. I've been saying don't do that shit. Do not baseline press. That is like the worst shit you can do. Because your corners, they're not, they're literally not even playing the ball. Like they're, they're just sitting there on the field with their hands behind their back. Man, I, I play a lot of games, bro. I try to teach through my experiences, you know, and, and I played football in, you know, high school. Learned a little bit there. Try to transition some of it. And I do watch film very often. All right, so this is, this is what I was talking about. Throw it over the corner's head. That's where you want the ball to be. Away from that third. The mid third. Trying to see, I haven't used this play in a minute. I've got the receiver for it. I want to see. It's going to be close.
Hi, Ball. Hey! He's spaced out. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna throw it to him. He got 93 jump. Ooh, good hit. Everything I, could, I, I, I teach, man, come from playing Madden as a kid, playing high school football. And, and I watch a lot of film, bro. Like, this is how you, this is how you box Buncho right here. No, sir. I'm gonna run no fucking screen on me, bro. Try something else. Watch for crosser. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put a speed for him. I'm probably gonna put Hobbs on him. Usually if he gets B once, you know, I give it to him when that one time and we'll switch it up and put Hobbs out there. Match him up by speed. Hayward's good, but he has his moments. He will get cooked. Back up, man. You take them underneath reads. You just dot them up down the field. How you want to get beat? End of the day. I see you, Ren. I see you. Ah! I forced it. I didn't think he seen him. He was gonna play a sideline. It happens. Renfro was just a little bit faster. He would have broke over a little bit quicker. You know this thing, this thing bugging out. Rolling out right into the blitz, bro. Fucking retard. It didn't work the first time. Then you try it again. It didn't work the second time. Try it again. It didn't work the third time. What makes you think? Running it four times in a row is going to work. It's generation, bro. They, they spam real bad. Good defense.
from what I said about baseline. I like how Jane just gets down the field. He don't know how to play run fits. And Chan, he's going to be vulnerable to the screen, so he's going to tell me everything he wants. He's going to stay in that one defense the whole game. We're just going to be able to pick him apart. in one defense, he's not adjusting. Just, he make this shit up. He, oh my god, he's definitely not playing run pits now. That's not giving him yards. I'm gonna no huddle it. I remember what, when they pinch, it opens you up. Comes vulnerable to the screen if he pinches. If he doesn't pinch, we get the double teams. See a lot of zones. Jackson. This is Drake, fresh running back. Got him with the fake. <laughs> Y'all show up. Got him with the fake impact block. Showed him the lineman audible to the play action. Forced him to run commit. It's a nice little wrinkle to add to your offense because people start seeing they, they automatically run commit. You know, good players will do that ten from time to time. They'll start run committing when they see you highlight the lineman. We did that and we got him with the audible to the play action. That's how you set play action up for real. Get him with it again. Now he wants to pass the mid. Oh, we could have got through there. But y'all kind of see. Get him off the commit just by scheming that shit open. Who good backwards hit stick.
my fault. <sighs> Played the wrong side. I should have played the other side. On assignment. Can't let them get too many of them. Every now and then they might, but I was damn sure expecting to pass that time. It's like a what, minute 53 to work this guy down the field. Stay in that man coverage, I guarantee you they're going to put Hobbs on him, bro. It's going to be mercy, bro. You going to try to use her that, bro? You going to try to use her that? That's, huh? We take him. Now we start running the score up. See, Hobbs got that potential, bro. I love his potential, bro. That, that 93 jump. And then I'm going to have two of them next year, bro. Get Rock, your sin, and Hobbs. It's going to be hell for my opponents, bro. I'm telling you. Oh! And then Hobbs with the recovery, bro. We're going to learn today, bro. We better get on the fucking ground. I got like nine guys with fucking 90 hit power on my defense. You can use her at all you want. I want, I, I want that. Oh, come on now, car. Got to throw that inside, buddy. Throw it inside. Too far outside, it should have been inside. Damn, fucking 
Mullins. I gotta get Mullins off the field. Bro. I'm trying to think who I have that can cover him. Even with him dropping everybody back, we got his ass. Stop spamming, bro. I got one play touchdowns for days against that shit. Time they pinch that D line in, bro. That slip screen is just gonna fuck them up. You cannot pinch that D line in. If you're not gonna play run fits, then I can just run the ball on you. I'm gonna get my double teams. here. Run fits. Go back to basics. Play that run fit. Double move, bro. No, sir. Good shit, Mullins. Way to get you get back. You use double moves on press coverage, bro. Come on, get open. See how they, they try to use her, like I said. You can just go to the underneath check down routes. That'll be wide open and that'll help Waller get in the zone. Don't play that. Ah, oh, come on, come on, get the ball, get the ball. I had fucking Waller wide open too. Get him to play that route so Waller opens. Shit, I be talking about, man. Motherfucker just spam something until it works, bro. I think that should have been a user catch. 
they gotta fix that. Like, if, there, if there's anything in 23 that I don't think get rid of, it's that right there, the fucking tilt drill shit. It's unrealistic. Make tackle. Hit them and slow them down. That's all you gotta do. There you go. They have the T on them. There we go. Hit them and slow them down. All I gotta do is score on this drive and game's over. Ooh, dead leg. Oh. oh, I thought I was gonna get sticky again. Play all of it, bro. You ain't got no super user. All I gotta do is score on his drive. Good shit, Sutton.
pinch in, bro. Every time they pinch that line, bro. <laughs> it never fails. Can't pinch the line or you're going to give me the screen. You don't pinch the line, you give me the run. <laughs> Better learn how to play run fits, bro. I'm telling you. Stop spamming one play, but learn something. Woo! My defense fresh. You got lucky a couple times. That was on me. Stay with him. Just stay with him. It's fine. They can use that timeout. Good shit. Good shit, Mullins. Here we go. He beat you a couple times. You come back, you get him. That's a good cornerback receiver matchup right there. I like that. Get your get back on him. You literally left that man wide open with your adjustments. Like, do you not think things through? Or are you just spam and hopes that, that it's going to look wide open again? See, they get so worried about that one route that they'll take guys out of position to defend it and leave their, their assignment wide open. Look, watch them chase it again. Watch the dig route. You, you ain't even got to throw to that route anymore. He's so worried about that one route. <laughs> That everything else is just getting butt naked open. Yeah, well, let me turn around. 
I wish there was a little bit better user control on the turnarounds. Like, back in the day, you could just hit L2 and they'll turn around. Back in with Madden 10, you had the rocket catch, you could do that shit. And people started complaining. Ah. So they kind of hurt your user. But they say 23 is going to be more user oriented, so we'll see. Way to run with a Mullins. Way to run with a Mullins? And three on them. GG. Said he got me a couple times, but I think we won that matchup. We're all three picks against Julio. Solid. Actually, I got more picks because I think Hobbs got one. I guess when I benched him on that play on defending Julio, it, it struck a fire in him. He's like, man, put me back in, coach. Put me back in. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the stuff that I be trying to tell you. Like, people will spam adjustments, and then when you beat them with something one or two times, one play touchdowns are usually good from one formation one or two times a game before people usually try to do something that they figure might stop it. And then they get so worried about that one route that it opens everything else up. I mean, <laughs> how else can you break it down? You're not going to have an ebook for people doing dumb adjustments. 
you have to be able to be like, okay, I'm not. You're not always going to be able to throw it deep. Like, keep doing that. Just stick it underneath. You see what we did right there, man? 407 yards, six touchdowns, 84% completion rate. Just take what they give you. They base the line, you can run on them because they're not playing run fits. You're going to get double teams. They show blitz, they're playing run fits, but you can't combine those adjustments. The, the man, the, I think it was a uh, baseline show blitz, you cannot combine. Baseline press, you cannot combine those. You can't combine show blitz and press. They won't let you. Baseline, in my opinion, is for more of an amateur defense, but you got to do it from the coaching adjustments, you know. And you have to; there has to be reason for doing it. Like if someone's playing a spread offense against you, yes, you can turn it on. It's fine. If people are playing close and tight, you better turn that shit off, bro. So they're, they're just going to open up run fits. People are going to run all over you. They're going to have more in the box than you, and they, there's going to be a double teams. And there's nothing you can do. Hey, you, you, no huddle, and you better call timeout. Stop with the begging shadow. Yeah, see what I see? I'm with a rubber out. That's why you can't play press zone. You need to give your zone up. You're not going to be able to play that outside quarter playing from the slot. That's why it's important to match personnel with what's on the field. You can't play that base 3 4 versus a gun bunch. You're already out of alignment. So when you got to press, you bring that outside quarter to play the slot, and he has to even further to go to defend those deep routes. Usually it becomes a speed disadvantage. And you'll be able to hit him with them deep fades all day. Eat. 
Did Howard resign with the Bucks or did he? I can't remember. Contact on Brady, bro. We good. contact on him. Ran through that gap so clean. So we know Brady's fatigued now, so we're not worried about him. Know the down is yardage and situation. We we'll have to put our package in. Oh, 
Who's got a nice little zone run? <laughs> oh, 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 let me find out. Let me find out. <laughs> you buy out, he don't know how to match personnel. Just got all day. Who you want to bend? Oh my God! What was that? <laughs> What's going on, car? <laughs> Oh, that was a beautiful trap run. Yo. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> the man that literally went to a five. <laughs> No, this is this is so corny, but it works. <laughs> you don't know how to stop goal line. Look at that trap run. <laughs> Get him, Barber. Barber eating, bro. I'm telling you. Actually, legit. <laughs> I got go lined him down the field. <laughs> oh, it's like cheese in a nutshell. <laughs> oh my god, that's a beautiful run. He can't get in there, but we should have. So, I like that split. That split is like a trap run. It's nice. Something that you guys can have like in your arsenal. <laughs> this man is still trying to do the little corny gun wing stack, bro. No, it, it's not it. Crossers us. Huh? Way to stick them. Oh my god, 
thought we had that. Smart man, take take something and get on the board. But you left me with ten seconds. I gave him the new signs and everything. I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it when my schemes be working, bro. <laughs> Just be having fun. Alright, so there's there's actually a play. If I can do it right. It's supposed to be like is this one. Let's see that one. Yeah. That play is so glitchy on the goal line, bro. There's no zone that's going to stop it. You can find you a nice little route that can run off that back line of the end zone. There's no zone. Their best pen, their best chance is to play cover one to, and, and pray and hope that he defends it. Ooh, good fucking impact block, baby. I'll be going after the blocks, bro. I'll be like, fuck the. Like sometimes I know I ain't gonna get the hit stick on the guy I want. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go after his blocker. Try to get that fatigue off on somebody. Woo, good hit, Perry. I have not had a hit stick fumble by Perryman in a minute, bro. Where are you? Let me see if my boy's alright. Get him. You're not fast enough to play on the center versus his defense. You're not fast enough to play under center versus his defense. How many times I gotta say it? the max protect now we can just play our play our shit we can we ain't got a blitz sit right there anytime they do that animation bro you know they're max protecting don't even blitz them bro just dropping the coverage he's gonna have less routes than you have and get guys playing it playing deep that's an easy tell as soon as they go for the max protect you don't even blitz just dropping the coverage i guarantee you you're gonna be able to cut off his go-to lane as soon as you see him, he, he looks at the line of scrimmage and he, he, he looks left to right like that, it's a max protect. Or he's trying to set up a double team. Just drop in the zone. That's all you got to do. Simple tells like that that can help your user. Don't get so stuck on stupid that you're doing the same shit every time. You're not paying attention to the cadence. And then you try to go in there, you run and you get blocked, and then they're going to beat you with that little crossing route or something like that. Just, just pay attention to the tails. That's all you gotta do. 
That's like the easiest thing to do as a user, bro. Like when you got a blitz that's coming through like that, you force them to play the way you want them to play. You force them to take that guy, that tight end, out of out of you know running a route, make him max protect him, make him block, make him block the running back, so that he's just got three routes on the field. You got everybody in man coverage. So what that's going to do is, let's say he's doing a max protect block. When you're playing that cover one, it's a plus one defense. Okay. So whatever he, if he's blocking exactly what I have on the field, I'll have guys just play spy. You know, watch watch his defenders or something like that. They'll just sit right there in those gaps, just in case. You know, and you're you're gonna just jam up everything deep. Um, other than that, bro, we got a nice little win streak going again. Um, I'm not gonna be able to stay up late today, bro, because I just wanted to make sure that I get off at the beginning of the video. Um, some stuff that you can kind of do from gun bunch and then like I showed you in the gameplay You know people will try to you know do stupid shit to, to try to take it away from you but You know like when they drop the coverage back and stuff like that, you know just take what they give you man You don't necessarily need an ebook to make Easy adjustments like you see okay. You're just gonna back everybody off fine. I'll send him the if you stop looking at him, you know, he's going to be open, but you're going to open up everything underneath, and I'm just going to Charlie check down your ass. Boom, boom, boom. Dink and dunk, dink and dunk. But other than that, fellas, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I love and enjoy giving you guys advice. Um, hopefully, we can continue this going into Madden 23, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll build upon everything that we've gotten so far, and we're going to carry it over. Hopefully, by September, man, maybe I can get my hands on a next gen sometime this year, and uh, we can we can prove the doubters wrong and uh, continue going forward with this. All right, guys, appreciate y'all tuning in. Peace out. Have a good night.